just the decline of Pizza Hut. That place sucks. I mean, it's just bad. It's just a really bad pizza spot. Yeah, I'll, Failed I'll take franchises, bankruptcies, and almost no growth in revenue for the last 10 years. But I mean, still about 13 billion in 2021. Like, that's, uh, you know, that's, that's, that's not nothing. I, I certainly wouldn't consider that necessarily a failure if I'm just looking at those numbers. It honestly kind of just shows me consistency that they managed to stay at around the 12 billion ballpark. This is the sad reality for Pizza Hut, who have had so many store closures that there's now a subreddit dedicated to finding former Pizza Hut restaurants. To understand why Pizza Hut has lost almost half of its market share over the last understand. 20 years, pizza we sucks. have to begin by asking the, the following terrible. question. Why was Pizza Hut so unique and successful in the first place? Back in the 1990s, Pizza Hut had a reputation for having some of the craziest yet most unique and successful pizza designs, which were not only delicious, but also gave the public a reason to talk about the business. For example, in 1993, Pizza Hut released the Bigfoot, a massive two feet long by one foot wide square pizza creation, with the Bigfoot accounting for 18% of total sales. There was also the cheeseburger crust pizza, the hot dog crust pizza, and the cornflakes crust pizza. However, none of these were as successful as the now famous the stuffed gym. crust pizza, which achieved sales of 1 billion in the first yeah. year, boosting Pizza Hut's stock price by roughly 50%. Of course, this strategy led to the occasional flop, such as their controversial lasagna pizza, which was described in a review as the worst thing I've ever eaten in my life genuinely. But for the most oh, part, these experiments seem to help Pizza Hut stand out. The Cheesy Bite Bacon Salad Pizza. Do they still do these? I haven't heard about any of these in a long, long time. Let me see. Let's see what we got. Nah, just the Pizza Hut melts, which have been there for a long time. Ugh. Doesn't look like they do these crazy ones anymore. They don't have to. Well, I mean, maybe they maybe they do if they're declining. Out from the crowd, especially when they were served in their distinct dine-in restaurants. These restaurants added a social element to pizza, turning it into an event as opposed to just another meal. The early memories that we all have of going to dine in at our local Pizza Hut are infinitely more memorable than the hundreds of Disagreed. times we would take away from Domino's. During the dine-in days, Pizza Hut had just something disagreed. that physically separated them from the competition. Nobody could offer an experience quite like Pizza Hut, providing them with unbelievable levels of success, especially in the early days. Pizza Hut had the monopoly on pizza and you paid through the nose for one. At first they had to educate the dining public with little signs saying, pizza is traditionally eaten with the fingers. For the first few years I remember that there was no takeaway, so dining dumb. only. I, I remember that a family sized pizza cost around $20. Nowadays that would equate to probably $50 or more for a pizza. People paid it because they were experiencing this delicious food for the first time. The Pizza Hut dining experience was seemingly profitable in the beginning, but this didn't mean that it was going to be successful forever. Some insane anecdotes claim that a new source destroyed Pizza Hut dining completely, or that dining was destroyed by their staff choices. However, the main issue seemed to come from It's really, other yeah, the main issue is just there's better pizza. Pizza Hut just fucking sucks. That is the main issue. Just genuinely, they have terrible pizza. Their recipe is that of a dumpster pizza. That's what's killed it. Is the reset... Lord Lime Burrito and the Prime Quinlet competing pizza brands who were specializing in delivery. There's something about pizza that makes it perfect for eating at home. The box acts as a plate, there's no cutlery needed, and the compact design of pizza reduces the potential for mess. Domino's began to take advantage of this at a time when Pizza Hut didn't even offer delivery. In fact, Pizza Hut only began delivering pizzas 27 years after launching their business, you doing so because pizza? they saw how sure, successful Domino's Totino's was. Pizza the convenience the of delivery meant that, that you didn't need to go better to a dining restaurant if you wanted to eat 
pizza. And if you did desperately want All You Can Eat Pizza Hut, you could literally just go to any All You Can Eat restaurant offering pizza and eat your eight slices along with a hundred other food options. Pizza was no longer an exclusive thing in the same way that it was in the early days of Pizza Hut. This lack of exclusivity in combination with delivery also shifted people's perceptions of how prestigious pizza was. As mentioned earlier, Pizza Hut adopted the dine-in model when pizza was an exclusive new dish from Italy. However, Domino's and delivery in general turned pizza into just another fast food. Pizza Hut became no fancier than McDonald's didn't realize or KFC, it was so why kind of would that. you take your family to eat there as a special occasion? Then there was Pizza Hut's increased pricing and decreased quality. Overnight, the price went up from $6.49 to $8.49. The high school students, previously a common sight, disappeared. With fewer people, the quality suffered. Pizza Hut was always more expensive than the alternatives, affordable only when getting second, third, fourth pizzas at a reduced price. But it got more expensive. The pizza remained very greasy Is it still and people expensive started today? eating low carb. What's a Pizza Hut pizza price? Let's see. What's one of these normal pies set me back? Let's do a... Uh, no, it's not fair to compare with the original stuffed crust because that's going to be more expensive. That's fucking $13 though. Um... We're just like a normal, traditional, God-loving slice of pizza. Here's the melts, not what I'm looking for. No, the dinner box isn't what I... Jesus, did I just do like a normal pizza? Do they only do stuffed crust now or something? 13 for pizza ain't bad. I'm pretty sure Papa John's for something of similar size is 9, isn't it? Let me see. I haven't had Papa John's in a while, but I remember it being sub-10 last time I got it. For Papa John's... Uh, I'm in chicken by accident. Uh, here, just a normal Papa John's pepperoni pizza is... Why are you not telling me the price? Why is this website so archaic? Just tell me how much it is. Why do I have to place the order before I see the price? Okay. Is this... This is from a takeout place. I don't know if this is accurate, but on here, the normal pepperoni medium... Also 13. Is there like a baked in charge because this is coming from a third party that's delivering it? Or is it actually just $13, I wonder? Is the resub technician and the prime mayonnaise and the resub ruckus and manute? Oh, it is a baked in one. It's 10 in the store. Oh. Yeah, I've never ordered from like a third party here. I usually just get it directly from uh, John Schnatter's basement. What about Domino's? Why don't they just show? Why don't they just show prices? What the fuck? For a normal hand-tossed cheese pizza, how much is it? What the fuck? <clears throat> oh, here we go. This is from the same third party. For a normal hand-tossed cheese pizza, it's $9. They have deals for like 8 to 9. Yeah, it looks like 9 here for just normal hand-tossed cheese. What the fuck? No, it's not. I'm looking at it right here. Hand tossed, and that's a large too. Hand tossed cheese, large pizza, nine dollars. If you get into the specialty pizzas though, like if you want a spinach and feta, it's twelve. Why oh, look at third party? Because the fucking site itself isn't just showing me their prices without placing an order. I don't feel like placing an order, so I have to go to one of these third parties. 
So I imagine it might even be cheaper on Domino's itself if you get it directly through them instead of like a third-party delivery service. $5 Domino pizza for pepperoni, cheese, beef, onion, ham, and cheese in New Zealand. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Hashtag ad. No, I just wanted to compare their prices. Because they're saying Pizza Hut's very expensive here, but I didn't remember them being, like, expensive. I do still think 13 seems high. But it has been a while since I've ordered pizza, and the last time, like I said, I'm pretty sure it was sub-10 from Papa John's. But there are better alternatives, especially for that money. Uh, Pizza Hut CFO David Gibbs made the claim that having dine-in restaurants is now a negative for the business, stating the challenge Pizza Hut faces is that it has a large dine-in business. Dine-in is waning in relevance. In other words, Pizza Hut needs to focus You're less on dine-in and more quality on what not a word people want, which Pizza is to Hut. take their pizza with them. This was also highlighted by Artie Stars, the president of Pizza Hut USA, who stated the biggest problem that Pizza Hut is facing is perception, explaining that many of its customers customers don't associate Pizza Hut with delivery. Star said the facade of its locations reinforces this idea, and it isn't helping to lure in diners. When you drive by the location, it doesn't scream, we deliver. To promote delivery to its customers, Pizza Hut delivered pizza to Space, the Oscars, and the top of Mount Kilimanjaro, but it still seems as though they aren't competitive on delivery. And on the topic of Pizza Hut in comparison to its competition, we should also highlight that Pizza Hut is extremely uncompetitive from a health perspective. Their standard pepperoni pizza contains a whopping 8,153 kilojoules, equal to almost 2,000 calories, which is close to the entire recommended daily adult calorie intake, and has well, almost no twice as many though. calories as Domino's pepperoni pizza, which has 4,453 kilojoules, or a little over 1,000 calories. Wow, but it's not healthy. fair to make this point unless we see the size and quality of each pizza, so we ordered a pepperoni from Domino's before doing the same with the nearby Pizza Hut Thanks in order to compare the two different there. pizzas. As mentioned, the Domino's pepperoni pepperoni came in at 1,064 oh, calories, gotcha, while the Pizza Hut pepperoni came in at 1,948 calories. And with the Pizza Hut pepperoni costing double the price of the Domino's pepperoni... I guess I could have just waited. He, he covers the price differences. What the fuck? How is he getting a Domino's pizza for $5? They must really bake in, like, a big, like, charge to the third-party delivery services. What the fuck? God damn. Oh, they, it's almost... No, actually, it's almost double going through that. You're paying for the pizza, and then you're paying for another full pizza just for the sake of delivering that first one. Is it Prime Aqua? The Prime Viva? You might expect that the Pizza Hut pizza would be double the size. Not five However, the as you can tell from the opening, this isn't the case whatsoever. The Domino's pizza had a surface area of 510 square centimeters, while the Pizza Hut pizza had a surface area only 12% larger at 572 square centimeters. Additionally, That's the almost Pizza Hut pepperoni weighed in at 1.46 pounds, making it only 7% heavier than the Domino's pizza at 1.36 pounds. Now, to Pizza Hut's credit, their pizza definitely presented and subjectively even tasted better than Domino's. However, with the Pizza Hut pepperoni what? being double what? the price and double the calories with no real distinct advantage, it becomes Present, obvious as to why yeah, Pizza Hut has agree, become uncompetitive. When looking at good. Pizza Hut's it menu, you'll also good. notice that the days of Pizza Hut trying wacky, unconventional designs are certainly long gone. The only crazy product that they have on their website is a range of pizzas which use a chicken schnitzel as the base, but apart from that, almost everything else on the menu feels like something you could get from Domino's at a cheaper price. Nowadays, there's so many restaurants not just dedicated pizza pizzerias that offer pizza on their menu that you can simply get better quality food at discounted low prices at other places. It's not even worth using Pizza Hut for pizza anymore. You'll get better results elsewhere. Now to Pizza Hut's credit, they did try to overhaul the menu back in 2014 when they introduced their biggest brand evolution ever called Flavor of Now, which introduced countless different new fancier menu items and oh, was yeah, described as the, the biggest change that Pizza Hut and, and the yeah, pizza yeah. category has ever seen. However, their new upscale approach had minimal impact 
impact on Pizza Hut's revenue, which actually declined by 100 million in the same year that they implemented Flavor of Now, which becomes even worse if you consider that during the same time period, Domino sales grew from 10 billion Ooh, to 15.8 billion. Domino's. And if we instead look at older data, we can see that the average sales per store has barely changed since 2006, which is about the point where the dine-in model died. While a consistent 12 billion per year over the last 10 years still seems like a pretty awesome scenario, the growth nice. experienced yeah, by nice. competing pizza brands has led Pizza Hut's market share to decrease from 25% in 1995 to 14.3% in 2016. 2016 also marked the year where Pizza Hut lost their 45 year long title of the world's largest pizza brand to dominate. Am I having a false memory right now? I thought Papa John's took this title. Not even close, actually, huh? Yeah, no, it's not even close. Yeah, Domino's blows it way the fuck out of water. Oh, actually, no, not really. Well, I mean, relatively speaking, it's two billion behind Domino's. Pizza Hut tastes better than Domino's and Papa John's. It's just so weird. Some people have like these really like defective taste buds that actually malfunction and make you think Pizza Hut tastes good. Domino's, however, Sad. their stagnant revenue has caused significantly worse problems than simply losing some arbitrary title. For example, in August 2019, Pizza Hut announced that they plan on shutting down over 500 underperforming stores That's in great the US. News. And exactly one year after that in August 2020, Pizza Hut's largest franchiser, MPC, announced that they were bankrupt, having roughly a billion dollars in debt, forcing them to close 300 of their Pizza Hut franchises and put their remaining 927 stores up for Holy sale, shit. representing one of every Pizza Hut restaurant in America. One month after this, Pizza Hut announced that they'd be closing more than 10% of its stores in the UK, with this taking place in the Goodness very same gracious. year that Domino's and Papa John's had net gains of 17.6% and 15.9% respectively. In the process, Pizza Hut was undergoing a logo change, although not to something fresh representing a bright future, but rather to the same logo used during the Pizza Hut glory days of 1974 to 1989. How did that not work? Pizza Hut's chief brand officer Marianne Radley stated embracing our iconic Pizza Hut logo is recognition of a time period where Pizza Hut unequivocally reigns supreme because that's where the future is headed. However, at the same so time, it feels as though they're it's desperate to remind the world that Pizza Hut still exists and this doesn't sound like the kind of play made by a company who's going to be reigning supreme anytime in the near future. Nice. Hey, well I've never, I have legitimately never in my life been a Pizza Hut fan, even as a kid. I just have always found them to be a super, super mediocre at best pizza. Exit tier one. Harlow in the prime. Hayden. Epic in the resub. Bien and Blunt. The Bits Doom in the prime. Airsoft in the resub. Minty and Seth. We see, in, yeah, I, we saw that earlier, Fate. The thin crust is fine. Can't even remember the last time I would have had Pizza Hut thin crust. 